All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, I am back and this isn't my normal setup for um my retightening videos, but I don't feel like setting all that stuff up, so I'm just going to go off the cuff with the notes that I've taken. Um, it's also not going to be a very long video. Um, this is my second retightening uh, for my sister locks, and let's get into it. So I got my retightening done on the 24th of January, which is last Thursday. It was supposed to be last Tuesday, but something came up and she had to reschedule. Cool, understandable, not a big problem, not a big deal. All right. Um, for whatever reason, my retightenings have been three hours on the dot. Like, got there five thirty, left there left. Well, she did like the last one at like eight thirty, eight thirty one, eight thirty two. So, um, I guess if that is any indication of how my retightenings are going to be, it's going to be fairly quickly, quick, quick from my standpoint. You know, in my opinion, that's three hours is very quick for retightening. Consider some people take eight hours, some people take five, some people take whatever and then for the for the hundred dollar retightening fee you get up to four hours for free so good enough for me all right so um that was my, my second retightening since having my sister locks installed back in august um i still don't be listening i still don't go when she tell me to go um because i don't feel like i need to i feel like if my hair's starving if there's no problems then why am I going to you every four to six weeks or six to eight weeks or whatever the recommendation was? But we'll get into that part a little bit later. Um, so the first retightening that I had was on 30th of October. So again, that was three months, three months. It's been three months since my first retightening. Um, I got my second retightening. I will insert some pictures at the end um, to show you what my hair looked like three months um, after my second retightening. Now, it was difficult because... I started to develop like a little mini fro in the back of my hair that made it hard for me to do like my two cornrows that I wear daily in my uniform. So I just started putting it in like a little ponytail. Um, and my hair is also getting a little bit too long to wear down, which, you know, if it didn't curl up, it'd be way past regulation length for the military. Whatever. So um, it was pretty painless. She only had to re- establish about two of them that came that came loose when I just got tired of braiding and banding my hair and I just washed it regularly um so yeah she also suggested I use more of the blue dawn in order to um to rid myself of the the buildup that is in the on the back row that I can't see I, I'm I don't know what she's talking about still, but she was saying like maybe diluting some Dawn, working it in there, rinsing it out and doing it again and again and again until I feel like it's gone. So I guess that's something I still have to work on. Not really much I could do about that. I guess like maybe the fabric and my clothes get caught in my hair and when I'm washing my hair, I'm missing it. So I got to figure out a way to get that out. All right, move on. So um, she did suggest that I put more emphasis in the coming back, coming back to her every six to eight weeks or no more than 10 weeks max because she said some of them have combined which when I checked a couple weeks ago I didn't feel any of them combined so I don't know if that was because she ain't felt like separating them or they were really combined I don't know how that happened but I'm not a professional so and I can't see the back of my head so I don't know I just have to take a word for it so she said that um, some of the ones in the back were becoming conjoined and there were two, three sets of two of them that are now joined together. And she was saying something about she could potentially separate them later on. Um, and I just said, OK, but if to me, if that includes cutting them apart or doing some other thing that I don't want to be bothered with, if you have to separate if you have to separate them by any means other than them naturally falling back apart, Leave them together, sis. Like, I know some people, when they have locks, um, stylists will cut them apart to make them smaller, or cut them apart so that they stay where they belong. But it's in the back, and it's not in the front of my hair, so it's not going to mess with my slight OCD with my lines. So it's not a big enough deal for you to... Because uh, she's already retightened them with them already conjoined, so I figured just leave them alone. All right. So, yeah, so I guess I'll give you guys a a view of my hair. Um, this is at this point about th this third today's Tuesday on Thursday it'll be a week old and 
it's still looking thick. It's not as stiff. I got a little stiff wear. <laughs> I got a little hang time. You know, so let me see if I can show you guys my hair. I got my part. My part is still there. Give you guys a good. So the back is it looks good. My grid is still on point, except for the ones that she said are combined. I have not had an opportunity to kind of go through and see which ones may or may not have been may not be combined. So, so yeah. This is where I'm at. Um, August, September, October, November, December, October, November, December, January. So I'm about four months installed, I think. Yeah. So I've had them about four months. Um, I still love them. Um, they don't give me a whole lot of problems. I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to keeping them up, but I watch them every couple weeks or... As I feel like it. Um, the only thing is that little mini fro that I started to get in the back of my hair. Um, I think the back of my hair is a little bit thicker than the front. Um, also, like the 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 hard variation from front to back annoys me. So most times I just create a bang and throw it in a ponytail or put it in two cornrows. Because this, this is consistent. Like this length is consistent. However, when you go from... This front little bang piece here. Oh, that looks that looks dumb. To this starts the back of my hair. You see that there's a hard distinction there. And I just want this front part to be longer so I can do like a, a real swoop. But patience, grasshopper, patience. So yeah, so that is where we're at after my second lock retightening. Um, please forgive me. I didn't feel like setting up the whole studio situation with the backdrop. Yeah, so that is where I'm at. And um this I'll check back in with another update. Um uh, probably three months from now when I when I decide to go back. I'm also going to force myself to start retightening to learn how to retighten it between those ten week intervals or whenever I decide to go back to her so it's not such a task or so that they don't come apart because I want them to some of them are locked, some are not, so I want them to all be on the same playing field at some point. So that is it, and I will see you on the next sister lock video. Thanks.